Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a layout for Bella Boulevard. Um, I'm using the Let's Go On An Adventure collection, which is a really fun uh, collection. And this layout is for the National Scrapbooking Day um, celebrations. Um, and our challenge was to um, use something you love um, or scrapbook something you love. So um, first of all, the subjects of my photos are my boys. Of course, I love them. Um, I love this collection. Um, and also, um, I have a real thing for anything plaid or checked. Um, so um, I chose this paper. You can see this one, the blue and green uh, plaid um, checked uh, pattern from the Let's Go On An Adventure collection. Um, and that's going to be a real main feature of my uh, layout today because that's something I absolutely love. I'm an absolute sucker for any pattern uh, that has checks on it. So I'm planning to do um, a kind of corner design. Um, so um, I just, at the moment, I just know that I want to feature this paper. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it. I've paired it with a piece of white card and um, one of the uh, Bella Besties um, papers. Um, I don't think it's pickle juice. I think it's guacamole. Uh, it might be pickle juice. Um, I think it is actually. Uh, I remember getting the other one out and it wasn't quite right, so um, I changed it over and, uh, and then it matched perfectly. So it must be the pickle juice, I'm sure it is. It's a lighter version of the green. Um, the Bella Besties paper is from the Graph and Line uh, Graph, Freehand Graph and Dot, I always get that muddled up, um, uh, pack of, of Bella Besties. Um, and um, it's... Uh, I, I'd already used this paper for something, so it's um, got a bit cut out from uh, the middle. So I've had to make sure that um, I cover up um, that uh, hole, um, that section uh, that I had a bit cut out of. Um, and now I've put the layout together, you can see that that section is covered perfectly um, and you can't see that it's not a full sheet. So um, I like to be a bit frugal in uh, using my supplies. I like to use up everything. Uh, so quite often um, I end up with um, bits cut out of the middle of papers and then I use the rest of it uh, for something else. Um, so I'm just trying to um, arrange my photos and my title. <coughs> so. Um, I'm trying to use this word uh, play, um, which is one of the acrylic words, um, but uh, it doesn't show up too well against the very busy um, pattern paper background. Um, so I think I try several times to include it and uh, unfortunately it just doesn't make it onto the layout. <laughs> um, I also really love the adventure title that's on the chipboard sheet from the Let's Go On An Adventure collection. Um, and I wanted to use that on the side. So. Um, it's very rare that I do a title um, on the side because I never, I just never feel that it reads particularly well. But this page was just crying out for the title to be there. Um, so I have gone with it and I really like how it looks actually. I, I think it does have quite an impact. It's, it's really lovely. Um, but at the moment I'm still not entirely happy with um, how things are looking. And my problem is that I have this gap between the bottom of the layer and the A. Uh, so I'm going to move all that down in a bit. Um, but my other problem was that I wanted my photos to be sitting on the corner, um, but I couldn't have both. I couldn't have um, the word adventure um, and then have my photos on the corner because there would be too much of a gap. So I had to compromise and I move all of my photos and my title down a bit. So what I'm doing right now is I'm using the off cut of the um, pattern paper, the checked pattern paper that I love so much. Um, and uh, I've cut it all up into squares. Um, and my initial thought was that I would raise them up um, on foam pads and have them sitting on exactly the same part of the layout that they match. Um, but then they didn't show up too well. So instead, I'm going to offset them so that they sit over the cross sections of um, of the, the pattern instead. Um, and uh, it, it looks a little bit crazy on um, this small video screen that I'm looking at right now, but in real life, it looks really good. Um, I've distressed the edges of all of those squares and I've raised them all on foam pads. Um, so they do really stand out um, and, uh, and look quite good. Um, and then I add embellishments to each of the squares as well. Uh, so it does end up looking uh, pretty good, although it does look a bit crazy on screen right now. It's kind of messing with my eyes a bit, but um, it does work out okay, I promise. 
Um, so here I am uh, making that compromise because that gap was really, really bothering me. Um, and I have had to move my title all the way down to the bottom edge, which now looks brilliant. Um, and then my photos, I say I wanted them to be sitting on the corner, but um, they just didn't quite work out there. Um, so I'm having to bring them down. Um, so I've just skipped forward slightly um, after doing some machine stitching. So I um, loaded my machine with black thread and I have stitched around um, the borders on the layout. So I stitched, first of all, I stitched through the title as well because chipboard um, always concerns me. I always worry that chipboard's gonna come flying off at some point because it doesn't, uh, because it's not flexible, it's not foam, um, it's not flexible. And then when you move the layout, um, you know, the layout is flexible and therefore um, the chipboard can, some, can sometimes ping off. Um, so um, I tend to um, stick any uh, chipboard down with um, either extra adhesive or um, I sew through it on my sewing machine uh, and that way it's never going to go anywhere. So um, so I stitched through my title, I did that twice in um, black thread and then I did, um, I went around the borders of the layers on the layout as well. So I went around the um, checked uh, border and then I went around the white border as well. So I have this uh, these good definition um, uh, black lines machine stitched all the way around the edges of the layout. I love how that looks in black. It really make, like pops out. Um, so you can see where I've arranged my photos. I've put a tag behind them. That's a really cute tag. It's got trees green and got trees on it. Um, I'm now trying to work out what uh, embellishments I can add to my squares. So I've pulled out the um, Heart Hugs corrugated um, heart stickers um, and I've put a few of those, um, well I've put one of those on the layout at the moment, I'm definitely going to add a few more later on. I've also pulled out some embellishments um, from the ephemera packs that I think will work. So I've got uh, the oval that says wild is my favourite colour. Um, I've got You Are a Complete Natural, that's the uh, scallop circle. I've also got a little label sticker that says Love in Outdoors. Um, and I've pulled out two blue arrows um, as well. Um, and I'm going to arrange all of those things onto my, uh, onto my layout. Um, you can see uh, where I've got um, most of them sitting already. Um, I've got a longer label at the bottom there that says um, life well lived. Well, that doesn't end up staying there. That's going to get moved up a bit. I um, that's just because it's a bit too long uh, to sit on one of the squares. Um, so you can see that I've moved it up to the top there um, and I've got it poking out of one of the layers. Um, so coming in with the heart hugs again and adding a few more of those in. Um, I really love those. They're corrugated hearts and they come with enamel dots as well. And, and this is the rainy day set, the blues. Uh, so I've got one that says my boy, one that says happy, and then just a plain one as well. Um, at the top there, I've just added um, adventure is right now. It's a little label as well, sticking out of the top white layer. Um, and um, I just want to add a tag behind my photos. And normally I would like to tie something through my tags. But today I decided instead of using ribbon or thread or anything, I would use some washi tape. So um, I have some of the narrow um, dotty uh, washi tape. So I've just put that through uh, the tag and uh, stuck it to itself and then uh, just trimmed it off at an angle. Um, so adding in some of the enamel dots from the um, heart hugs now, um, that rainy day uh, set. Um, I've got a little tab above my uh, right photo as well. Um, and I've included a journaling card to the left of the left photo too uh, from the cut apart sheet. Um, so, you know, quite a few elements um, going on here. Oh, I also um, have put a tree um, onto my left photo, um, a little piece of chipboard that says going wild and an ephemera flower in blue as well. Um, so, um, so yeah, it's all coming on um, well. Um, just um, adding in some journaling. I've written the date on the tab above the photo and then a few lines of journaling on one of the squares that I left plain. Um, the date actually on that tab, it, it didn't work. I think I wrote the date wrong. I did write the date wrong. Um, I got my dates muddled up. So I'm just covering that up with a piece of white card and then rewriting the correct date in, in <laughs> as you do. Um, 
Okay, so I'm nearly finished now. Um, I just want to add a few white splatters to this um, very busy patterned paper um, layout. So I'm just going to take my paint shaker and uh, splatter some white all over um, around my photos, kind of around the cluster, not on the whole layout, but around the cluster. Um, and yeah, that is me done. Um, this is a layout I love. Um, it's the subjects I love and um, the Czech paper I love and this collection I love. So it's full of things that I love for National Scrapbooking Day. Um, okay, so um, I hope you've enjoyed this layout. I really enjoyed how it came together. Um, thank you very, very much for joining me today. Happy National Scrapbooking Day. Um, and that was uh, Nikki Rowland for Bella Boulevard.